Melanie coming here from the Hyperactive Bookworm. Firstly, Happy New Year. It's exciting because there's all these things I want to embark on and I'm uber, uber excited about it. Um, I also am feeling slightly sore because, yeah, stupid, stupid adventures that ended up with me sunburned. Who knew swimming in rain could still get you sunburned? I should know this. I'm an Aussie. Of course I should know this, but I just stupidly didn't think about it. So that's been my fun. I also received this beautiful new coffee cup, which is so cute and adorable. Yes, it's filled with iced coffee right now. And I've decided I'm going to actually retire this beautiful coffee cup. I love it so much. I love the flex. I love how it sort of looks like celluloid. Um, but it will go somewhere on my bookshelf because it can't ever really disappear. But I think it's it's time to retire using it because soon it's going to get too um, chipped and flicked and you won't actually be able to read the awesomeness of it. All right. Now, what I also got for this Christmas and I'm so, so excited about it, is I did get a book, well, a book that I've turned into a book journal. So for this year in between, for this year, the well done. So for the week in between Christmas and New Year, the week that I like to call the cheese week, because nothing happens but the consuming of cheese, really, I actually spent many, many hours creating my book journal. Now I got this idea from watching a few videos but primarily from watching Katie Coulson because she is a nutbag and I love her and she's great and oh my god her creativity is fabulous. Um, mine is not nearly that good. I didn't actually even record any of me doing up the book itself. I just don't have as good a setup yet and I'm you know, still new, still learning. I realised while I was thinking about it all, haven't actually been on here for more than a year yet. So I'm really excited about having a full year of the Hyperactive Bookworm, of reviews, of talking about books, of about being completely spaz and hyperactive over bookish things. So I'm really excited. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go through the book that I did do up like I said, don't judge me, don't judge. It's just, I kind of went a little nuts on it, but I really love it. I'm really excited about embarking on it, getting my reviews out there, getting everything up and running. And yay, I really hope you like it. So here we go. Alrighty, so I'll move the coffee cups out of the way. So this is the gorgeous book that I was given. I love the geometric shapes and I had lots and lots of fun doing it. So here we go, here we go, oh yeah, well it was supposed to be all pretty in black, but you know, oh, so I did try to start with a black and white theme, it didn't last long, I had to end up putting rainbows in, there is no real sort of theme in among this, the themes were all like, oh hey look I found stickers, um, but I had so much fun doing it all up, so Neen's Book Journal 2022, I did think about doing my writing in here as well but I'm not sure it's really going to have enough space to do writing as well but we'll see how we go at the moment it's just for the books all right so I totally copied this idea except I'm not good at doing beehives so I ended up deciding to stick with the same as the front cover and I've got a list here with all my rainbow colors I've only listed what is it 124 books even though um for the goodreads challenge i am actually endeavoring to read 150 but that's all that would fit at the time so we'll see what happens once i hit past that but it was so much fun to do up my goals for the year i need to get some more goals so far 150 books for goodreads and jay's bingo bingo card challenge i am so excited about this she hasn't actually announced yet everything though she might have by the time I put this up um but I'm so excited about it her challenges are just fabulous and phenomenal if you've watched any of this year's well 2021's videos about the sapphic reading challenge this is her this is the same amazing author Jay's bingo challenge so I can't wait to see what she's done this was a space here I've put in case I decide to do the writing stuff in here as well 
but like I said, we'll see how we go. All right. Yay. So I really like this page. I think it's really pretty. I've got a few genres here. I literally could not think of other genres, though I know there's heaps more. I've left some space here and I'm going to start from the bottom going up for um, general fiction. They're, they're not sapphic, but they'll be marked in the different genres as well. I just haven't got there. So I know that I'll read some more urban fantasy. I'll read more horror, um, possibly mystery. There's some of these ones that I really don't read um, general fiction of. But we'll see how we go. But I'm excited. What I will do is, I'm not sure how I'll do it yet, whether I'll just mark the books here as either one to five or if I'll do like a gradient and I'll I'll colour code them because then it'll at least look prettier, I hope. But we'll see how we go. All right, next page. This I totally stole from Katie because I thought it was gorgeous. So what she plans to do and what I'm I'm planning to do thanks for the steel, by the way, um, is at the end of every month, just draw little book spines so I can see in a quick view for the sum up videos that I do on here. And I can see here how many books I've read. I'll also color code them perhaps in the same color code as here. We'll see. We'll see how overlappy I can get with it all um, to see how many star books I've read and for some reason apparently July deserved to be capitalized but none of the others did who knows who knows my brain all right page which I think I was going to do the TBR or leftovers from um 2021 but I haven't been bothered so anyway so here's the calendar I started the calendar this is where I plan to actually put in Things like videos that I plan to do, if I'm doing any interviews with authors, things like that, just to try and keep my head a little more on top of things. So I'll just quickly flick through all the months. They're all completely different, but some I love way more than the others. Okay, I adore the green. So we've got February, March, because I'm an Aussie, you know, different seasons, and this is just my favourite time to take photos. And, you know, it's beautiful. Autumn is my month. All right. April, Easter, May. I do like this. I loved this one a lot. Very Dalmatian y, very stripy. Uh, June. These are the colors that me and my partner have. And this here is our wedding anniversary. So I basically. Oh, hello. Knocking coffee everywhere. Um, I basically decided to focus this month on. Yeah love and all that jazz all right july pretty dots pretty like opposite snow i thought it was really pretty all right august books 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 pens um when i showed this to my partner they're like uh that's your birthday shouldn't it be your birthday and i showed again and they nodded and smiled and said ah books and pens so yes it is my birthday month and that's all i ever want all right, September, I got a little crazy with this sort of zebra stripe and music and, yeah, a little bit crazy. A few stars thrown in just for fun and measure. October, my pretty month. So I love Halloween and last year was the first year I really got into it again because my son is also obsessed with it and I just love this kid so much. He's just such a product of me, poor bugger. But yes, October, so excited about that. November, November rain. Yep, I got a little poet. <laughs> it was late. I, I, I have to admit, it was late. And then December, Christmas. You can't really see that green, but the in-between letters are green. I might have to get a different green and just highlight them up a bit more. All right, now in the Happy New Year, my January TBR. So these are the books that I am focusing on reading in January. Five is a good number because, well, to get my goal for the end of the year, I'll have to read way more than five. But these are five that I thought, you know what, I can make sure that I prioritize the five. I'm so excited about these books. Um, Melena McKay, I don't know, it could be Melena. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but... 
I will be interviewing her for the Sapphic Book Club over on Facebook. And I will put the video over on here, um, the replay of it. If you are interested in watching the live, jump on over, join the group. Make sure you answer the questions. But I'm really excited about that. At the end of January, I'll be talking to her about that as it is our January book. The Forever and the Now by KJ. I was so over the moon. She asked if I'd like to beat her and I was like, oh my gosh, yes. So that's basically the first week of January. All there, all there. Um, the number 94, I have that sitting in my um, Kindle. I've been trying to get to it, just can never get to it. The same with The Awkward Truth. Chemistry Lessons is a paper book that I actually have and I'm trying really hard to read more paperbacks this year. We'll see how my health goes, but hopefully we'll see how that works. Um, I have it sitting there and I'm just so looking forward to all of it. I thought, you know, start of the year, let's go really gay. Let's go really sapphic. So all of these are sapphic books and I'm so excited, but we'll see how we go. Now from here on, it's just the potential of a lifetime. Ah, here we go. Look at this, all these books, all these pages to do reviews. Oh, and this is for October. How cute is that? When I do up the October TBR. I'm so excited. Yes, it is my month. I get very excited. But all this potential and I'll be doing reviews. I'm not sure how I'm going to set them up yet, but we will do it as we go. I am just so, so excited. And thanks so much. So this is my gorgeous book journal and I've like totally bumped that camera oh well we're fine and yeah so hopefully you guys like that tell me what you think do you do a book journal is there anything else you'd like to see in the book or suggest for the book because this is the first one I've ever done so I'm sure there are a million errors and a million things for me to learn but at the same time I'm totally excited by it so thanks you all for watching have coffee happy new year be safe and I will see you all later. Bye.